everyone, we're going to talk about differentiability of functions and we're also going to get into graphing the derivatives of functions. So we're going to start with this famous function, the absolute value function. And the question is, you know, where is this function differentiable? More so, where is this function not differentiable? And when this function is differentiable everywhere except for one location at x equal to zero. Why? Because differentiability, derivatives deal with slope. Everyone, what's the slope of this line right here? coming in as you approach x equal to zero from the left. The slope is negative one. F prime is negative one. What's the slope of this line as you approach zero from the right side? The slope is one, or F prime equals one. These slopes, everyone, are not the same. Therefore, this function is not differentiable at x equal to zero. That's a corner. So now I want to talk about, well, how about all functions? Were all functions not differentiable? Well, one place is when functions have corners, okay? Just like this one in the absolute value function. I'm gonna draw a picture of one. Here we go. Let me just say, all right, this function has like a cusp here, maybe comes down here, has a discontinuity there, maybe gets really vertical here, and then it goes on like this. And I'll just make up some x values. Let's say this is at x equal to negative three, and when this is at x equal to 3, and perhaps over here when this is at x equal to 7. First of all, the question is, where is this function not differentiable? Alright, where is the function not differentiable? To start with, this is called a cusp, kind of like the corner. Everyone? This slope coming from the left side is getting really steep. Look, it's almost getting undefined here. But these slopes are not matching as you approach from the left and right. This function is not differentiable at what's called a corner or cusp. So definitely not at x equal to negative 3. That's one place where this function is not differentiable. At x equal to 3, we have what's called a jump discontinuity. All right? A jump discontinuity. See, everyone, if a function is differentiable, then it's continuous at that point. Function's differentiable at a point, it's continuous at that point. But you can't take the converse of that statement. All right? What I mean is, you can't say, oh, a function's continuous at it's differentiable. If a function's not continuous at a point, it's not differentiable. And therefore, at x equal to 3 one, you have what's called a jump discontinuity. So I'm going to put that right here. At x equal to 3, this function is not differentiable. At x equal to negative 3, it's not differentiable. And lastly, at x equal to 7 and 1, there's a vertical tangent there. All right? So whenever you have vertical tangents, that means everyone, the slope right here is just undefined if we put a tangent line right there. So the three places I want you to always think about where functions are not differentiable are at j's, v's, and c's, jump discontinuities, vertical tangents, and corners or cusps, okay? So in this problem, just to wrap it up, this function was not differentiable at x equal to negative 3, at x equal to 3, and x equal to 7. Now, I'm going to erase all this, and I'm going to talk about graphing a function's derivative. So I'm just going to start with this function right here. Everyone, if you know your trig, this function may look uh, very familiar to you. We'll just call this f. What we're going to do is graph f prime, its derivative. Everyone, this is simple to do. It's very simple. What we're going to do is, first thing, I want you to find where the slope of this function is zero. Ah, right here, we see that the slope is zero. Right here, the slope is zero. And one right here, the slope is zero. It's good to identify that right away. That means everyone f prime is zero here. f prime is zero here. And f prime is zero here. Watch how we make this graph. I'm going to put a point right there. It's because the slope, everyone, f prime derivative is slope of f. The slope is zero. So I'm putting a point there. Aha! 
Putting a dot there, and look. Putting a dot right there. Slope is zero at this point. Slope is zero at this x value. Slope is zero at this x value. Now, how about the rest of this curve? Well, let's just go in here and look and see if the slope is positive or negative. How about right here, one? That slope, we can definitely see it's negative. I don't know, like a negative one. Do you all agree, one? It's about a negative one. How about right here if I drew a tangent line? Slope is definitely positive. Probably like a positive one. How about right here? Notice I'm going in between these values here. The slope right here, once again, it's negative. See how the slope is negative? F prime is negative. So I'm just going to put a value here in the negative region. And how about like right here? The slope, everyone, right there would be positive. Now I can build this graph. And when I have a nice woo, 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 and I want, now I can make sure this is lined up here. If you know your trigonometry, that's sine. You might realize that this is actually something like the cosine curve. So if you haven't gotten a trig yet, you know the derivative of y equals sine x is, y, is a cosine of x. So anyways, let's do another one. I'm just going to take y equals x cubed. There we go. Let's do this again. I want us to graph the derivative. All right, where's the slope zero? Right here, everyone. Tangent line, n equals zero. <laughs> Boom! What's the slope right here? It's positive, okay. How about over here? Hey, it's positive. Hey, you know what's interesting about this graph? The derivative is always positive. Oh, this is f, this is f prime. The derivative is always positive. Yeah, this function's always increasing. Now, if you want to get a better concept here, we can dive in here and say, what's the slope here? Well, it's positive, but it's very close to zero. But way out here, boy, it's really steep. So we see how this thing is just getting really steep. And right here, when this slope gate's getting very, very steep, that would give a large value for f prime. And when you might notice this a parabola, and yes, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared which this is demonstrating. And one last thing. Let's go back to the absolute value function. Let's graph that derivative. Okay. Here's the absolute value function. Psh, psh. How do we do this? Well, yeah, the slope's negative. The slope's positive, but the slope is zero nowhere. The slope is zero nowhere. We didn't have those nice little hills. How that ground, those previous graphs were nice and smooth. If you notice about this line, everyone, what's the slope right here? Slope is negative one. <laughs> what's the slope right here? The slope is negative one. What's the slope right here? The slope is negative one. The slope is always negative one. See so what this graph would be? Mm, this is just a slope that's always negative one. And how about this? Oh, the slope is one here. The slope is one here. The slope is one here. Uh, this slope's always going to be a 1. Now, what should I put here? Should I put dots? Should I put a dot at one place or the other? No. Everyone, we're going to open these up. How come? Because this function is not differentiable at x equal to 0. This is f prime. This is f. That's why we're not making a mark there. 